everybody, it's your boy E. I am soaking wet right now. I was out in the pouring rain. So I'm I was on 287 coming from 78 going towards the outer bridge. And I was doing about 75. And we went off road. We flew up in the air and slammed down. And as a result, we are stuck. Now, the Jersey Troopers already came up, but we just destroyed the front end. So, I don't even know. Like, I'm scared to jack this thing up and look, but let's see. Let me pop the hood. So, I don't think the strut tower was bent. Smells like smells like it's overheating, but it's not. So now the rear is stuck high and the front is stuck low. Holy crap. And it was like not even not even two minutes after it happened, a uh, Jersey trooper pulled up and right behind me. It was like he saw me flying in the air or something. But so I call AAA. AAA does have a tow truck come in to get me. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to ride with the tow truck. So I'm trying to get a ride now. But I'll send the car home. But I can't believe it. My baby. I, I just hope Geico don't total, total her out. Like, <laughs> this is my baby. I'm about to call my tow truck driver to, uh, to see where the tow truck driver is. So it says that the tow truck should be here about 5.37. It's 5.18. I did call him at about uh, 5 o'clock. AAA always has great timing. I, I, I love them. With that being said, uh, I'm going to stop this video here. I need to figure out um, who this tow truck is and where he is so I can give him a exact location because I am where the cops sit. So I'm kind of hidden in a cut. But yeah, so I'm going to pretty much be back. Uh, when you see me, I won't be in uniform. I was on my way to work when this happened. I was supposed to be starting work at 5 o'clock and now look at the freaking time. It's 5.20 and... I feel so bad because this the other day Tuesday I wasn't feeling good and I called out and now today I have a freaking accident this is not my week this is like so much bad has been happening this week oh my god uh, I'll be back so she's on the truck about to go home okay next day damage report See how this wheel is bent up in there a little bit. Like, look at the angle on that. I guess the camera really doesn't do it justice on that camber. This one has a slight angle up in, but not that bad. So I'm thinking this strut tower might be bent. I don't know. It looks like it's kind of in this way a little bit like towards the engine it might be you know my engine couple was all disheveled disheveled and stuff like that i'm pretty sure the suspension is jacked i i'm not even gonna jack it up and look underneath i'm not touching a thing i'm gonna wait let it get to the body shop i'm gonna let the body shop go through everything um there's a body shop in catasaqua that uh that do some amazing work that I've seen uh, being that they're not open today I'm going to drop it off to them tomorrow uh, but yeah so the front of the car is stuck down and the rear of the car is stuck up then there's a whole lot of dirt and grass underneath it mud all in the tires it's alright so bumper's going to be fixed up and all that Everything we got. I managed to avoid the other 
uh, incident that happened, but it was like when I maneuvered, I hit a slick spot and then just went straight. And well, there you have it. So I'm gonna drop them off to work today, and then we got to figure out why the AC doesn't work on this thing. They just stopped working and uh, I was out here fooling around with it think it might need a new compressor so I'm going to go buy the compressor I'm going to do the install myself got to take it somewhere to have them back in the system and then refill the system that's going to be a video for another day this week Alright guys, I am gone. So, this is the last we'll ever see of it. This is the last time it's going to be on my channel. Um, suspension, it's like, Nico told me it's about $11,000 for them just to start the work. And uh, the suspension's caved in, the engine uh, crater, the engine shifted. Pretty significant amount of damage. So, like you can see how that wheel is like, really pushed up in there. It's going to be a total loss, it's not going to be on the channel no more. This is one of the hardest things uh, for me to deal with, like, I love this thing and now I worked so hard for it and I lost it. I never take anything for granted. I 